Well, it is that time because we've got a third game coming up right now. We've got four matches today. Third match, we have someone whose name is a little bit feared choosing this next game, Jeff XVX. I'm sure Jeff will be hopping into chat in just a little bit because uh, we've got an interesting game coming up. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Bruce How are you? Oh, doing great. How about yourself? Bruce I am so hyped for this match today. You are? Why? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to find out in just a moment. It, it's not a DOS game. Okay. Um, it's not. There's no rabbits. There's no uh, advertising for junk food. We got something even better. Okay. It is. It is a uh, Australian four-in-one cartridge of South Korean exclusive games. Okay. <laughs> you said you were going to North Korea, but you just managed South Korea this time. I'm I'm fine with that. No, I, I haven't gotten to North Korea yet. I'm still working on that. Plan. Okay. Uh, but for for today, um, we we've got uh, we're going to start with one game. It's a little on the short side. So if people finish it, uh, we're going to move on to the next one. First game's going to be Twin Mouse. Okay. We finish that. The next one is Cave Dude. Cave Dude. Cave Dude. Okay, Twin Mouse then Cave Dude. That's right, and we're gonna we're gonna just stay away from the other two. Okay, why are they are they good at all? Are they just really really bad? Power block is basically arcanoid but sideways. Nothing real interesting there, and okay. it uh, has a tendency to crash a lot. Um, Adventure Kid is just a really bad port of Adventure Island 2. There's nothing really notable about it other than just being a bad port. Okay. Good, good. We're getting the unique video games here. So... Well, well, unique may be an overstatement. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're kind of based on other games. Okay. Maybe. That's good to hear. Uh... Twin Mouse may bear some similarities to um, Tiny Toons for NAS. Okay. Um, mostly in the uh, not not so much in the in the actual mechanics of gameplay, uh, but if you're if you're familiar with how that game works, you might notice some some similarities in level design and whatnot. Okay. Um, Cave Dude, we'll, we'll talk about if we get to it. Um, I, I don't know uh, how our competitors are going to fare in Twin Mouse. Uh, so we, we may or may not be seeing the next game. I don't know. The long play of Twin Mouse is 15 minutes long, so it, it's quite possible they'll finish. But it's a little, little tricky and there are no continues. So there's also a chance that uh, people will get stuck. There's some... Uh, fake walls and things that people might not be able to find right away. That's fair enough. And this oh. is a game uh, for the SMS. Ah, um, Sega Master System. For the Sega Master System. And as you can see uh, on the on the cover, Twin Mouse promises... Or it doesn't just promise, it, it just guarantees you excitement and fun-packed game. Okay, I can uh, see excitement here. Oh, I'm very excited. I don't know how our competitor's going to be. I think that excitement is directed towards us. Oh, we're going to be excited. Okay. And we're going to have okay. we're going to have a fun packed time watching this game. I'm sure we will. This sounds very hopeful. Well, Jeff, I think I'm just about ready. If I'm I'm trying to remember if we had somebody who is doing audio, Essentia is going to. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh good, you're gonna love this noise emanating from it. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> I got I'm not prepared yet. I'm I'm almost the, prepared, Jeff. The vibrations in your ear holes will be magnificent. Please never say that again. <laughs> Oh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. Well, 
there we go. Just about good to rock this, because we've got a very special Australian Korean game. Twin Mouse coming up first. Jeff, you find some really <laughs> odd games. <laughs> this is great. I love this. We're going to have such a good time. Um, so one of, the, one of the things I love about uh, Korean SMS games is the sprites don't make any sense. So I want to I want to do a little thing with our chat when certain sprites come on screen. By the uh, way, you're you're getting a little bit. It sounds a little puffy, occasionally in the microphone there. Oh, sorry. Is that better? I think so. I'm just so excited. Uh, I'm 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 panting over here. <laughs> uh, I, I want to do a little thing with chat when certain sprites come on. I want to play. Uh, what's that animal? Or na name that animal. You know, like name that Pokemon. Na name that animal. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm... Um. So, I guess we're still in attract mode here. Or, but uh, you can see. Uh, you can see there's uh, some other mice on the screen, uh, besides your your character. Uh, I want I want chat to tell me are they, like some kind of skeleton zombie mouse. Or are they robot mice? Because I couldn't figure out which one they are. They're definitely not normal anthropomorphic mice, right? Like your 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 character is. Just a normal, you know, walking around, ball cap. You can tell what's going on there. There's something there's something wrong with these mice. We have uh, let's see, chat saying demon, zombie, Jason. Robot. Those are all really good guesses. Um, I, I think okay. it's actually all of them. It's a combination of, of all those things. Sweet. Um, how about the sprite when you're dead, that orange thing. I guess it's supposed to be a mouse. It doesn't look like a mouse. Okay. Um, By the way, we Jeff, have... we can continue guessing, but I want to get the show on oh, the yeah. road. So I'm doing the countdown. Everybody spam all of your creepy squirrel emotes or whatever <laughs> kind of dead animal emotes that you have because we are getting ready to go <laughs> oh wish the players the best of luck this is going to be an experience here yeah oh mouse butts i like those oh mouse butts yeah i see snails snails are probably going to show up yeah Oh, all of these animals. As soon as I see movement, I will start our timer. Okay, so this is Twin Mouse. It is, and we'll we'll get into just a moment why it's why it's Twin Mouse. What do you think of that uh, that death sprite, that red thing, Essentia, uh, uh, Essentia's uh, uh, child, daughter, son? I'm sorry, I don't remember which one. Uh, guess Red Panda. Which I, I'm guessing would be Justin's thought as well. I would say Tanuki, honestly. Tanuki? Yeah. That's that's definitely uh, uh, likely. All <laughs> right, so we can see we can see now why uh, this is twin mice on uh, Samurai Snake's screen. Uh, the mouse is now wearing a bow. Okay. Uh, so I, I think the idea is, hey, they're they're twins, right? You got mouse one and mouse two. They're they're twins. That's why it's called twin mouse. Oh yeah. But the ending screen kind of suggests that they're lovers. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we got we got a little like a Luke Skywalker, uh, Princess Leia thing going oh on. Oh my here. gosh. Okay, I I approve. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It looks like Boz Hunt and Samurai Snake are on to stage two. Tea Party Cthulhu as well. Honestly, Ascension is not that far behind uh, because stage one is relatively quick once you manage to get the hang of it. Indeed. Uh, and I want to ask everybody what. Uh, so there's a boss. Uh, I guess you could call it a boss at the end of this first level. Okay. It looks kind of like a gray 
I guess, a bear or something, but I wasn't really sure. Oh! So I hear everybody awesome. else's guess. I, w I was thinking a bear of sorts. Okay, it looks like Sanchez figured out that there are upgrades there. There we go. Upgrades or a switch to the other character? What is it? They're not so much upgrades as sideway grades. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't... There's only one benefit to having one character versus the other. And that is that the the one with the bow, who I, I presume they're going for, for female by that, uh, can float down instead of just having gravity pull her. Uh, if you hold down, if you press the jump button a second time. Ah, okay. Mentioned in the manual, which I've, I've given to uh, our players, um, it, it's, it's a little bit of an oblique reference, but... Um, you mean like not... Princess Toadstool? Uh, it's a it's a little bit yes, it's 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 similar to that, except it's not floaty, uh, unless uh, only when you're going down, not while you're still in the air. Okay, gotcha. It, it, it's as if you were holding an umbrella while you were going down, slowing your fall. I don't really know why you'd want to do it. But it's uh, a mechanic that they took from uh, uh, from Nest Tiny Toon. So I guess they were just like, well, it was in that game, so it should be in ours too. That's fair enough. By the way, some of the music has been very recognizable, but I can't quite put my finger on it. The do 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 Like, I um, know I've heard it. I know the answer to this. I want to see uh, chat from Yasa. Okay, we're, we're back to this music. Yeah, chat, please tell us. What is this? Is it actually Tiny Toons? It, it is It is not. Okay. But that's a good guess. Um, so these collectibles, uh, you get a hundred of them and they give you an extra life. That seems pretty straightforward and they, they carry through from one level to the next so there that's is a benefit pretty kind actually it is very kind so it means that there's an there's an actual point you know even if you know you're not going to get a hundred on the level you still want to try and collect as many as you can um there are no continues so uh having a bunch of lives is, is pretty that's important definitely here. good yeah I think they're going to quickly learn that lives are super important and that they're going to have to keep getting more in order to make progress. It looks like Tea Party Cthulhu is... Is this back to stage two? I think everybody's gotten a game over at this point, by the way. Yeah, it looks like everybody's... Uh, looks like everybody's on stage two. Um, the, the answer to the... It's from uh, Magic Kid Goo. Oh, that's why! I like Magic Kid Goo Goo. Yeah. It's a it's Tina a Hacks game. game. Yeah. It, it is It is definitely a Tina Hacks uh, type. <laughs> Tina approves. I bet Tina knew the answer. She and just she didn't want to spoil it. Yeah, Tina. Yeah. Wow. So question it looks like occasionally you do get a power up uh that allows you to tank a hit uh what power yeah, up is a, that you get a heart so you have like uh this is pretty much just what you said you get a like one extra hit point so instead of dying uh by one shot from everything uh, you get two shot. these sound effects are really staticky let me just say yeah yeah that's um you know, not the highest quality, uh, I don't know if recording is the right word, or I didn't really record them. Uh, triangles and squares? <laughs> this is what happens when a triangle and a square love each other very much. You get these <laughs> sounds. <laughs> so I'm also wondering, why are the collectibles what they are? Like, it, different levels have different collectibles, so so far we've seen some type of apple thing, and now some type of crystal. I don't really know why a mouse would want to be collecting these things. Wouldn't you think, like, I don't know, cheese? You know, part of me actually thinks, 
Well, the color of the sprite makes sense because it makes it very distinct from all the other sprites. Uh, and so I can approve of that design choice. Why it switch? I don't know. You could have had golden apples. But, you know... Oh no! Essentia taking a death! So, that looked like possibly an issue with controls. I'm not completely sure why she plummeted, but she did. So, the controls in this game are are interesting because uh, uh, they're, they're kind of ice physics in the sense that even when you stop pressing a directional button, you continue walking in that direction. Okay. Uh, for a little bit, and so like until it finishes the walk cycle. Um, it so it makes, it makes precise platforming really hard. Gotcha. Uh, the other thing is it's one of these games where you, uh, commit to jump. You don't, you can't change midair, which makes this game basically Castlevania. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that some of these controls are a little bit difficult. Wait, oh, Cadus is right. This does not use zero. It uses a lowercase o. I'm very <laughs> upset now. That's... Well, most of the players are on to stage three at this point. There is a locked door, so there will have to be backtracking after killing the boss of this stage. Uh, you know what, to, to, be fair, to be fair, if you're going to put four games on one cart, save a bite, you know? Yeah, good point. It looks like Tea Party Cthulhu has learned how to float, by the way. That's probably not all that helpful, but it's it's good they figured it out. I mean, there may be a couple of jumps where that uh, makes things a little bit easier. Certainly not required. <laughs> um, good to know. So now we have, we have uh, three of our competitors onto mushroom level. Again, I, I don't know why the mouse is... What kind of a collection is this mouse doing? Uh, I'm gonna have apples, then I'm gonna have crystals, then I'm gonna have mushrooms. All right, so maybe they're this? making dinner. So what's with crystals? I don't know. You might want to eat crystals sometime. <laughs> They've got good energy. Okay. There's 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 crystal crystallized ginger. That's a really good thing. Ooh, crystallized ginger is so good. Yeah. All right. Oh my so gosh. what is the what is the floating thing that might be some kind of bird. Uh, let's see. It comes up again. There. On uh, okay. Rice Snake's screen. What, what is that? I don't know. I don't know. We've got the soulless mice. You know, you can tell because their eyes are missing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. That was an interesting choice. We've got it's Tommy Gun Bear who doesn't actually shoot. Shoots. Oh, you, um, you you have to. Um, the 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 players are, are, are killing the bear too fast. Uh, if you like ah, the... gotcha. Oh, samurai snake death right before oh, getting no. to the exit. You hate to see that. Oh, every every day that happens is another day that we cry. Essentia getting a lot of these gems here. Oh, into the spikes. Honestly, it's like, this is almost a platformer. It's just, it changes some of the basic rules. Oh, and there goes Tea Party Cthulhu into the pit. Yeah, it's this grid movement. I'm starting to see more of it. Yeah, exactly. Which, we've had a few games that are grid-based a little bit like this, but it always make, throws people off. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, since visually, like, while you're playing, it doesn't look like it's necessarily grid-based, but it is- Oh, yeah. This is tripping me up. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the goal here. Uh, tripping to, people to trip up? Them up a little. Tripping people up. <laughs> this game- this game's a real trip. Yeah, Boz Hunt is on stage two, Tea Party Cthulhu, Samurai Snake on stage three, Essentia is on stage two, it hasn't quite made it to stage three yet, but I think with a good push, that could happen in a little bit. The, the most important thing, I think, is collecting 100 collectibles before making it, before dying, you know? 
So, there are three ways to get extra lives in this game. One is getting 100 collectibles. The second is there are certain uh, amounts of points that you can get to that okay. give you an extra life. And then there actually are occasional one-ups, um, which you will know because they will say one. Important progress for Tea Party Cthulhu onto stage four. Oh, and this carrots. one has carrots. See if they're making dinner. Uh, all right, so you're gonna get, you can get carrots and apples, uh, crystals, uh, mushrooms and mushrooms. All right, now what do you think the clouds are? I mean, they're well, they're clearly supposed to be clouds. They don't look like clouds to me. No, they don't. <laughs> they they don't look like they clouds. Look, they look a little bit like Kuse, don't they? A, a bit, yeah. A little pale, but you know. <laughs> Oh, the crystal! Oh, of course, crystals because they're making rock soup. Ooh. Or stone soup. Stone Sorry. soup. Stone soup. Why would you make stone uh, soup? That's dumb. Oh, Essentia, by the way, through stage two, moving on to stage three, she's getting her first look at this stage. I like that she doesn't even bother with changing characters. She's like, nah. I like the hat better than the bow. What is this music? Alright, so, uh, so Tea Party Hulu's, um, obviously found the exit and walked past it, as you're supposed to do. Um, we're gonna start seeing, uh, big walls, and players are gonna have to, uh, figure that out. Um, there was, so you'll see Tea Party Hulu just passed a second door. That's the one that you need, that's the one that, that is the actual exit. Really? Oh, Essentia taking a death, unfortunately, the Castlevania jump did her in. You know what? That was still some really good progress really quickly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, honestly, I think we're gonna see people passing each other all the time. So, Oh, I'm so taking a look. The next round. I'm taking a taking a look at the manual, and it's one page for four games. Well, it's one page folded in half, so you know, it's two, like two two ish. Pages. Okay. Yeah. So it says twin mouse one for one player only. Two. Very important. There are eight rounds to complete. You must defeat the quote unquote boss in all caps at the end of each round and obtain the key to enter into next round. Three, speed slows down if you try to jump while walking through water. Oh, the water physics, we haven't gotten to that yet. You oh. ruined it. You oh, I'm things. sorry. I didn't- It's a spoiler. Okay, I'm sorry that I spoiled everything. Okay, uh, I guess the manual can't technically be a spoiler, but- um, It's true. For our viewers, who, who, who probably have not read the manual, uh, despite being presumably highly literate people um you know it's a uh it gives away all kinds of secrets i mean it I, I doesn't it doesn't even I, tell about the floating mechanic well sure it doesn't doesn't give away useful information. it doesn't tell anything about items it doesn't say anything about one-ups i read everything except for the controls okay Okay, well, it tells you the controls. Sometimes we don't even tell our players controls in these games. But it, all it does is it says one button one or two is to start the game. Button one is jump. The directions move you. That's all it says, okay? Essentia has killed the boss. Now can she get the key? Because if so, that'll be pretty significant for her. Samurai Snake is on to stage four. Essentia almost there! Oh no, right at the end! Wow, so Thulu, um, as you may have seen, figured out that those uh, red blocks on top you can walk through. Was able to find and kill the boss and make it through there. Um, and now more care. Tea Party Cthulhu is apparently on stage six. Yeah, I told you people might actually finish. Only, uh, oh, now two, oh, just got another life. Uh -oh. So that's a one-up. Okay. The one. 
And the way you get that is um, there's actually a false wall. Um, well, of so course. Hop on that, up on that bird and go to the left. Oh. Uh, you get in there. Yeah, Tea Party Cthulhu is definitely doing the best in this game uh, at the moment. You might get to see the second game. Ooh. I, because I came prepared, I thought, I don't think anybody's going to get through this, but... Just in case. These, these, these players are... Your competitors are so good. The people that play these things are so good at video games. It's true. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, by the way, all of these players took second in their own matches. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, being, being good at games like this is its own skill. And, and a skill I don't have. So it's always a little hard for me to judge how are they going to do. And consistently, uh, competitors do way better than I was expecting. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Not not because I have low expectations for them, but like I I try to think. Well, I, this is how far I I think somebody could get by, uh, within this time period. And uh, I was I was thinking that people would run out of lives uh, pretty quickly. So, but everybody figured out uh, they need a they need to harvest lives. T Party Cthulhu taking a death right there. But luckily, there's so many carrots everywhere that it's easy to get another one up. I think that's the most important thing. Make sure that you keep getting a one up as you get to the hard sections. Because if you don't, it gets really dangerous, you know? You don't want to get a game over when you're this far in the game. Yeah. And those, uh, the, the zombie mice that jump... Are there police? I heard no. sirens. Jeff, are you okay? I'm sorry, that's that's here. Well, I live in a city, and uh, things happen. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I just uh, shut the window. I was trying to get some fresh air, because this this Kuso really stinks up the place. <laughs> it's more like, oh, cops, just go away. We don't want you bothering us during our match. Yeah, we're just trying to have fun. If they show up to your house, though, put them on mic, okay? We want to talk to them. Find out what you did. Uh, no. See, one of the things I learned being a lawyer <laughs> is that I have the right to remain silent. Well, the cops can okay. talk. Oh, yeah, they, they can. Yeah, we're not going to make you talk, Jeff. All right. But we do want to know where the diamonds are. Where the diamonds? <laughs> There's... There's all, I only know where the crystals are. Oh, okay. There are lots of crystals in this game. Oh. You know, despite all the badness in this game, at the same time, I feel like it's fairly enjoyable. The sounds aren't, but the rest of it's pretty good. Okay. Boz Hunt is... On to the next stage as well. I believe this is stage five. You can tell by the number of keys. Samurai Snake unfortunately had to start over. Essentia having a bit of a hard time with this boss. For some reason, it's very difficult to land directly on the boss's head. I'm having some uh, internet connectivity issues here, so... I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, we'll miss you. Well, everybody, we're 20 minutes into the match. This is Cusa Grande. The goal is to make as much progress in one hour as they possibly can. Four players racing each other. Right now, Tea Party Cthulhu appears to be in the lead, making significant progress in getting strawberries. Gonna be tasty in that soup. I don't know about the fish, though. All right, I'm back. Hey, All right. hey. All right, so, yeah, what I love is your the icon is a strawberry. That's the collectibles. But whenever you get a fish, it increases your strawberries. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. Some fish are made of strawberries. Apparently, all fish are made of strawberries. It, it's, well, all the, the ones that look like um, 
what do you call them? The goldfish crackers. Yeah. Yeah, those are made of strawberries. The ones that are actually alive and move in like sine waves, you you can you can jump on those and kill them. Ooh. Uh, yeah. And the the ones that look like Swedish fish, you can kill those too. And the uh, duck or a swan. Chat. Yeah. Duck or a swan. I don't know. Oh, Essentia taking a death. Last life here. But she has gotten to stage four. <laughs> My gosh. Some of this is pretty stressful. Uh, not for me. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, for the players. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about them. Oh yeah, do people have any duck emotes? And or swan emotes? Do you have any ducks? Oh, we I see a few ducks in chat. Or okay. even anything with a bill. And any any kind of, you know, Digimon or, or anything or you got Wait, a side duck. Do we'll Digimon bills. have bills? I don't know. Okay. I just say I just say video game words. I just pretend to know what I'm doing. <laughs> Essentia managed to get an extra life, by the way. That's pretty significant. Samurai Snake might be able to get through this with a significant number of lives so that he has a good chance on stage four. Essentia back down to zero lives. Gotta get a one up or start the game over if you die. Alright, it looks like Tea Party Cthulhu did have to restart, by the way. And Essentia, oh. getting a game over as well. Oh no! Everybody is making some pretty solid progress, though. I'm enjoying this game. I'm not playing it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> right? Uh, so, uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping we can get to uh, uh, the end of this game. I mean, it's only been 23 minutes, and... Uh, people sort of figured out what to do, and they can, they can race through it pretty quickly now. Oh, yeah. So, uh, for some reason, somebody uh, put together a, a game fact for this, and it's available on Game Facts. I don't know why, but somebody did, and people have actually taken the time uh, to give it ratings. There are 15 ratings of it. Ooh. Um, out, of, uh, out of five, it scored a 0.8. That's not bad. Okay. That is bad. Do you know how numbers work? Oh, 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 shoot. That That is actually Zero. pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, that's better than I expected. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. Whew. Yeah, fair enough. You're 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 an English teacher. I got a math minor, Jeff. I could tell you all about numbers, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Those are great numbers. Right there. Yeah, zero point eight is not a great number. No, it's not. Oh of, I sent you now. Speaking of numbers, did you have a good pie day? Yeah, I didn't even have pie though. Oh my gosh. But we did learn all about how pumpkin is the worst pie. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, Justin just said that as well. <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we need to bully the streamer. Oh my gosh. Like, it's still okay. It's still okay, but it's just like, there's so many better pies in this world. Okay, here's, here's a thing you might not know about quote-unquote pumpkin pie. A lot of times it's just winter squash pie, and they don't tell you that. Exactly. It's full of lies. It's the pie of lies. Everybody here, you're eating lies. How do you feel not about only, that? Not only is the cake a lie, the pie is a lie. And, uh, but if you have actual pumpkin pie that's not, like, crazy with that, you know, so-called pumpkin pie spice stuff. They're good, you know? I actually like the pumpkin pie spice. It's just that 
you know, if I'm looking at a gallery of pies and pumpkins there, I'm not even going to consider it. There are so many other pies. Well, what are you going to pick? Cherry. I'm going to pick pizza. I don't care. <laughs> if I'm going to get a pie, okay, and feel terrible about having eaten something that's like fatty and stuff, I'm going cherry, okay? That's my choice for feeling terrible. Okay, I mean, we can we can all choose our own poisons, I guess. Yeah. Cherry is too sour? Look. Except the competitors. It's they don't get to perfect. choose their poison. Tart is delicious. Oh no, we choose poison for them. Essentia, by the way, is on to stage three. Uh, she's doing great with the number of lives, by the way. This is a good start to this game. Now, there are eight levels in this game, according to the manual. Who knows if it's correct. It is, uh, it is sadly correct. Okay. Um, you have to make your way through all eight before we can see the, the, the final ending reuniting. Everybody is learning how to deal with these physics, by the way. This is being great. Yeah. Lemon like meringue is good. Yeah, absolutely. Lemon lemon meringue is, is tough. Too. What is your favorite pie, by the way? Um, in in terms of uh, like American fruit pies, uh, I mean it's hard to beat apple. Um, Apple's pretty good. Like uh, apple apple crumb, maybe some raisins in it, maybe not, but like uh, that's that's some good stuff. Um, but uh, lemon meringue's definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah, lemon meringue is like. I have to be in a very specific mood to choose lemon meringue over other pies, but it's good. Oh yeah. I love making lemon meringue pie as well. It's fun. Do you, do you know, until I until I made lemon meringue pie, I had always thought that the yellow part of it came from the fact that it was lemon. <laughs> no, it honestly if you right, make it from, from jokes. Well, not only that, but if Depending on how you make it, it can end up being pale, very much not yellow at all. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wonder. I, I assume that uh, when they, whoever whoever invented the this this meringue pie was like, well, no, it's kind of, it's kind of oh. yellowish. So yeah. let's make it lemon. Well, we'll add. I bet if it had turned out to be green, they would have been like, we're gonna have lime meringue pie now. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Oh, and and I'm just so hungry pie, now, Jeff. The pie that is either pecan or pecan or some something in between. I like Boz Hunt Strat. Go over the top. Is that where you have to go? Actually, I think so. The boss is here. You do. That's right. That's uh, sneaky. That's what you had to figure out. Oh, I like puzzle elements in my platformers. Yeah, and then they hide the key behind one of the carrots. Isn't that cute? Okay. We're, we're getting close. Oh, yeah. Boss, I'm just trying to get these squishers to fall down. No! Boss, hunt! Oh. Right into that one. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh my gosh. By the way, we're up to 300 viewers. Thank you everybody for coming and just chilling during this amazing game. Unfortunately, boss hunt. Another death turning into a tanuki. I swear it's a tanuki. What does Justin think? Uh, I don't know. He's, I think, run downstairs. Well, I'd be interested to hear what. He... Actually, we'll we'll just uh, we don't we don't need to bother him. We'll just, <laughs> Justin, we'll we just need your opinion on this about. wonderful video game. Okay, Boz Hunt is still trying this level, one level ahead of Essentia. Samurai Snake is currently on stage three. Essentia on four. Boz Hunt on five. 
Deep Party Cthulhu is back on fourth, but has made it up to seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Uh, very close to uh, the end. Um, level eight is the one where we get to see a lot of uh, water physics. Yay, water! We haven't seen any water. Yeah. It's gonna be very thirsty mice. <laughs> Just glug glug, drink all that water up. Don't want to be yeah, dehydrated when you're a dumb mouse. Because they didn't have Stay Hydrated back in 1994 when this game was made. It's true. They didn't know. Oh no! Oh, Tea Party Cthulhu! Someone did make it to the fish oh, yeah, level. That's oh, right. that's we, right. We, we had fish. We had I forgot fish. about that. There's water in fish. I forgot. Okay, Essentia trying to get the key. There we go! The key has been acquired, and that's a death. I s <laughs> She has her camera up, by the way, and is kind of yelling a bunch, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's, it's sibling stuff, you know? At the same time, I think she's probably enjoying it somewhat. There are worse games in this world. Yeah, I'm... I don't, I don't go too over the top with, uh... I don't know, frustrating, horrible, just, like, a lot of weird stuff. Oh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> so, Rosenta, I, I understand that, uh, if, if people like, uh, Kuso, they, uh, can also see things on YouTube now, is that right? That's right, I'm getting everything uploaded to YouTube, uh, at this point. I think... The last highlights were just made, so I need to export those in a little bit. But yeah, we, I've got a YouTube channel that uh, I'm going to keep updated, just so people know. So, suppose somebody wanted to uh, like, subscribe, and follow your YouTube. How would they go about doing that? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Justin. Uh, I'm trying to... F let, let me look. <laughs> just a sec. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get to my channel? Uh... It's this one. I'll go ahead and post it there. <laughs> we have a I, command, apparently. Wait, we do have a command? I just... Well, I saw YouTube, and then I saw Nightbot post the Discord. <laughs> wow, Nightbot. Well, Nightbot is wrong. Nightbot, come on. There, YouTube channel should be right there. If okay. people want. People want. Nightbot tried. Yeah. I'm thinking of uploading some other videos that are not Kusa Grande related there as well. Uh, just for fun. We'll, we'll see. I, I have to decide if it's a project worth getting into. Yeah, well, we'd certainly uh, like to hear some feedback from, uh, some, from folks if that's something they'd be interested in watching. Oh yeah, well, you know, you try one or two videos, then see what people think, and if people have fun, then awesome. Tea Party Cthulhu, by the way, has eight lives. Moving on to stage six, it looks like. Wow. Wow. That's... That's huge, if true. It is true. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just memeing. That's what the kids do, right? Wow, you memester. How could you do this? <laughs> I'm I'm hip with the kids. Sure I know, you are. I know the I know the latest 1994 video games. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear it, Jeff. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, this was 94? Yeah. Well, okay. Nobody's has, <laughs> you know. I had actually. Uh... I guess I was still playing video games back then. It wasn't until about 96 mm -hmm. that I, uh, when I went to college and didn't, didn't have a console for a long time. I wasn't huh. playing games. And by a long time, I mean ever since. <laughs> but Jeff, video games are good. I, I am aware they are a fantastic tool for uh, inflicting pain, uh, 
What else did I do? And also, despite, like, defying all odds, you're just an expert at Bible Buffet. Well, it's because I'm good at RNG. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeff, just but getting we... those random numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a skill. I, I get a lot of uh, a lot of random numbers. You gotta you gotta play the game when Mercury's in retrograde, and that solves all the problems. Oh my gosh, Jeff! I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't play many games, but I do know that you do crossword puzzles, right? I I do. Uh, I actually, oddly enough, do them online, and people watch me do them online, and do them along with me, which actually makes a little bit more sense. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a blast. I'm I'm glad that Twitch is now um, a place where you can you can do a lot more than just uh, uh, play Fortnite. You can have bad video game tournaments. You can have. Oh yeah. You can, you can, I saw like a tattoo artist giving somebody a tattoo and, you know, seen lots of other forms of pain. Yeah, I'm thinking, honestly, even just five years ago, it would have been difficult for, like, to just sit at home and put something like this on. Yeah, have, having your own stream would have been reasonable, but, like, having four streams together, the bitrate would have been dead. Yeah. Like... Oh, and speaking of which, uh, uh, how did the, uh, the GDQ Hotfix Kuso Invitational go? I, I saw a little bit of Robocop action on that. Oh my gosh. Don't ever speak of Robocop again. That name is a swear word here. Essentia just got to the next level, by the way. It looks like it's level four, and she immediately died, but hey, that's progress. Oh, the Lupine one had the same idea that I had. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright, now that we have, uh, we have somebody back on the, uh, Goldfish Cracker Swedish Fish Duck Slash Swan level, can we see some fish emotes in chat? Does anybody have fish? Actually, yeah, I'm wondering about the variety of fish that we might have. Spam your fish. Glub glub. Well, we've got fish heads. Yeah. Those are good ones. That's kind of gross. Just They're the severed head. fish head. Okay, lots of fish popping up now. I like it. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Frogs are not fish. I know <laughs> enough biology to know that. I'm going to disagree with that. <laughs> oh, I yeah, see a very, I I know a the very fish head song. Shark. <laughs> Some very Aww. happy sharks in chat. Well, good. Yeah, I mean, we need happy I'm sharks. We, we do. All right, so we're getting we're getting close to the end of this game. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Just what 20 are, minutes left. Yeah, what are the what are the rankings so far? Well, Boz Hunt and Tea Party Cthulhu have both made it to stage 7, and Boz Hunt I think actually just completed it. Moving on. Oh, nope. They had to start over. Oh. <laughs> it happens. Happens to the best of us. So, oh, okay. it's between them for first and second. Essentia and Samurai Snake, I believe, have gotten to the same stage here. Samurai Snake probably has made a little bit more progress, though. Alright, well, if we don't see Cave Dude today, we may see it again at some point in the future. Yeah, there's no harm at having it in the... In, you know, in your plotting scheme. In your list of possible games. I mean, it's possible everybody who sees this now is going to be like, Oh my gosh, I need to go try out Cave Dude. If it's on a cartridge with, with this masterpiece, it's got to be worth playing. Uh, and I, I, don't, I don't agree with that sentiment. But if you've got to play it, 
go ahead. Uh, you're just just keep this in mind. I have a a perfect streak of of never having to redraw, and I have a very special game waiting if I ever have to redraw. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah. Cave dude two. <laughs> if there was such a thing, that would be too good for them. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly, I think everybody is getting to the point where they need to have a solid final push and make progress yeah. here. If they get game over, it's still not impossible, but they really need to, you know, get in gear and get caught back up to where they were before. Yeah, like, I this mean, game is not long. Close. No, it's not. Um, like I said, the, the long play of it is 15 minutes. 15? Um, yeah. Okay. 17 minutes, something in that range. Um, it looks like Tea Party Thulu with, with nine lives already in that water level is in pretty good shape. Yeah, Tea Party could definitely move into the lead here. Oh, the swan duck! Oh, I hate those. <laughs> Me too. They turn you into red pandas, or tanukis. Yeah, and Justin, actually, come tell us if the dead sprite is a tanuki or a red panda. When you die in this game, I'll point it out. Okay, he's over here. Hi, I mean, Justin. that's a squirrel. Yeah, Justin's here. Jeff said hide. He says hi. Okay, as soon as somebody dies, we'll point it out. Wow, everybody's playing well, of course. <laughs> right? I mean, there's been death all over the place. Tea Party could... Oh, there. Okay, he says Tanuki. There's no white on the face, it's a Tanuki. Oh, okay. Well, I was wrong then. Uh, everybody in chat says hi, Justin. Ah, uh, they love you. It's a clay doll? No. That's... <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it... Well, I mean, you just, you're returning you to the throw. earth. Maybe you become clay when you die. I don't think you can just, like, call out random Pokemon and have that as your guess. I think that's fine. I mean, you, you can, but I don't think it makes you correct. Right. Just right here. They are. They, they're they very vivid. If you were a mouse, wouldn't that be really appetizing to you? <laughs> uh, I, I would probably eat them. Yeah, the strawberries are a little fat. Fatty strawberries. Yep, he agree- he- upon second viewing, it's a tanuki. Tanuki statue? I think they're fish. They could be Taiyaki, I suppose. I mean, that goes with the theme of you're trying to collect food in order to make dinner. I love how we just came up with, with oh, more for this game. The carrots could be diet strawberries. Interesting. <laughs> Are these robot mice walking around with pink jumpers? Okay, robot! So we had chat said they were demons. Uh, chat said they were demons. Chat said they were demons or zombies. But some sort of soulless creature. Yeah. I guess robots are soulless as well. They're definitely soulless, yeah. Uh, but they do sort of have pink jumpsuits. I didn't even notice because I'm colorblind. Oh, okay. It looks like Essentia is on to level four again. Uh, Boz Hunt is there. Tea Party Cthulhu is still plowing through level 7. Ooh, Essentia taking a death. Essentia might be able to pass where Samurai Snake got to here. We'll have to see. Lots of lives to do it. <laughs> Tea Party's really determined to make it through this. Just skipped over the one off. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta rush. Oh, you have to kill a dog now? Oh, jeez. Okay, so what is that? I thought dog, but... Oh, and a death on It the has dog. to be a dog. 
Let's see the dogs in chat, or if you think it's a different animal, spam whatever that is. Your emotes are voting here. I guess. I, I think it's pretty much a universal consensus. It's a dog. Albeit an yeah. ugly dog, it's a dog. What kind of dog? Ugly dog. No. That's a specific breed. Essentia, going up over the level, that is exactly what you need to do to get to the boss. And I think this puts Essentia in third, if I'm not mistaken. It's like an ugly Some hits on the dog. Hmm. Interesting. You know, we have 13, 13 minutes left, and places could still definitely change over the next little while. This game is so jink. Oh, Essentia taking a death right there. Now we're up to level 8! Final level! Final level! They're... What are these? Um... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we got we got the the monkeys, presumably throwing strawberries, and another unknown type of swimming thing. Uh, yeah. What is, what is swimming in the water? What, any thoughts on that? Uh, it's. A yokai. Oh, Justin says it's a yokai. That would make s sense. It's a bird in the water. Oh no, wait! It looks like it. It has feathers taped to its head. It, but I don't know it does. It sort of looks like a Grecian deity. <laughs> I mean... You know. <laughs> they sort of sometimes... Like Hermes. It could be Hermes. That's Hermes? Hermes? Okay. Hermes the bird. Everything could be a oh. tanuki. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to say. <laughs> This has a beak, so I don't know. But man, Tea Party Thulu is getting hammered by whatever it is. Um, it's because of the water physics making it so hard. Um. Oh! <laughs> still has a few. Still has a few lives left. But at this point, I think anybody could still make it to level eight. Still another ten minutes left in the game. This game is definitely rude. Essentia manages to make the jumps and onto level... Is it five? I think so. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, you should be able to count by the number of keys they have. Yep. I don't know why they keep track of it that way. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, it's... It's level six, that's right. Okay. So, Essentia has the chance to actually move back into uh, second or first. It's going to be difficult. We've got ten minutes left. But, you know, Bazan still hasn't beaten level seven. I, uh, yeah, it's going to be really difficult. Oh, Samurai Snake, by the way. Starting to get close to the end of stage five. Yeah, the water physics are just kind of oh, absolutely man, terrible party. in this game. Tea Party Thulu is getting so close to the end of the game. But at the same time, he's running out of lives. I don't yes. know if we're going to see a completion. I would love it if we did. What I love about these monkeys is that they throw bananas at you. Don't, don't monkeys like bananas? Like, isn't that like a human throwing a cupcake at somebody like shouldn't we I mean it's an look we have pie fights in our history I mean we we kind of throw food on occasion but we're not it, really trying to hurt somebody presumably these these monkeys actually want to like knock you out uh, sometimes you want to hurt people with a pie you know why not Okay, Tea Party Cthulhu, getting through some of these weird maze areas here. 
There is a one up if Tea Party decides to go up. down. Nope. I think it's time to go fight this thing underwater. So isn't it weird the boss of <laughs> this game? The final boss is just one of the normal enemies <laughs> that comes throughout the level. So good. <laughs> oh, and we we this is it. This is it. Alright, the I mean, one up is kind of irrelevant at this point. Okay, go up, get the key. Key gotten. And then just walk through the door. So we're gonna make two. There we go! Play uh, play the next game? I think so. Ah, apparently Justin has figured out what the red thing is. What is it? It's a Kawa Akago. A what? Kawa Akago. Kawa Akago. The end. The end. The Yay, end. let's see what the twin the mice end. do. They are finally reunited. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. You know, there you go. Okay. Lovely. Cave right, dude so is... Cave dude. And let's see if... Tea Party Cthulhu moves over there. And Essentia, by the way, moving on to stage seven. Oh my gosh, this could be, depending on how she does, this could be a move into second place. Samurai Snake is starting to catch up a little bit as well. There's still time. All right, so might okay. Tea Party Cthulhu to do Cave Dude. It's certainly still possible other people will beat the game. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, y'all get to see something new. Alright, so... Uh, Cave Dude is basically the same thing as a game called Toto World 3, but with a different uh, title. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of similar to um, the crap that we just watched, except instead of... Um, Jumping on the enemies, you hit it. You hit them with a club. Okay. Yeah, it's. <laughs> and, I like I the know. attack animation. It's good. Wop wop wop. All right. Now, what about these yellow things? That like, maybe chickens? They could be chickens. Oh, samurai snake! Canaries. Another death there. <laughs> Tea party clears. Level one. Up. Is there any way we could get the music from from Tea Party, from Tea Party Thulu stream? No, because he said that he is going to be yelling. Oh, that's, uh, that's very much said that he reserves the right to use oh, microphone. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, at some point we all should, uh, or maybe maybe when the match is over, we can. We can uh, play a little bit of audio. Oh, uh, Boz Hunt is at the dog. Let's see what Boz Hunt can dog. do against dog. Oh, Essentia dying to Swan Duck. Always rough. Yeah. Just like the boss. <laughs> okay, let's see if Boz Hunt can get back to the door. Yeah, should be easy peasy. There we go. Oh, okay, Boz Hunt is on to the final stage. Essentia is currently in third, Samurai Snake is in fourth. Tea Party Cthulhu did so well, he gets to be bald. <laughs> oh, well, into the pit. <laughs> oh my gosh, these physics are pretty terrible in the underwater sections. I... They might... I don't think they're persimmons. They're too uh, gyoza shaped. I don't know. They're they're very. Wait, are they round? Oh my gosh, Jeff! My yes. color blindness is making it hard for me to see what those are. Are you shape blind? Oh my gosh, I'm not shape blind. <laughs> They're coconuts? I don't think coconuts are shaped like that. We're getting right near the end, by the way. <laughs> hey, Tea Party Cthulhu clears another level. 
<laughs> and we see a boss, the nearsighted elephant boss. Aw, nearsighted elephant. He's just trying his best. Dumbo flying with the ears. Wonder if Boz Hunt's gonna be able to polish this level off before uh, or finish the game off before we run out of time. I mean, we're getting down to it. Uh, Boz Hunt might be able to. Honestly, I wouldn't be too shocked if we saw another completion. That would be so great. I'm glad that uh, these these two of our folks have gotten to see all eight levels that this game has to offer. It's definitely got I, i'm glad that the game actually has variety in the levels you know for uh something that like as far as i know was unlicensed uh oh no essentia that is a game over essentia has no Ooh. chance of catching up she pretty much locked in her place right there Ooh. you know it That's happens tough. happens to the best of us yeah what you're saying about variety, you know, I, I think uh, it shows that a lot of effort went into a game like this. You see so much these days just shovelware. It's, it's so low effort. You just throw some things together and you know, the computer will generate a few levels for you. There is at least, you know, they might not have known how to program physics, but they really put some effort into it. Yeah, they only stole a little bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Honestly, oh though, you know, I would say Boz that if... Boss back to finish the game. Boss Hunt, yeah! Grab that key, time to loop around. By the way, I would say that I, I am fine with reusing assets or borrowing assets from other places if you're not selling them. Like, Barkley, Shut Up and Jam Gaiden, or Gaiden, is Fun. just beautiful. I Done. love it. A Very nice, person. Boz Hunt. Now, Samurai Snake, it is your... I don't know, one minute left. I don't think there's going to be time. Oh, selected adventure kit. That's not the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Who has... Oh, Essentia has the audio, so we have... So we're not going to... Can we do Boz Hunt's audio? I have no idea. I like the banana birds in this cave, dude. Like, they're kind of adorable in ways. Yeah. Yeah, Tea Party Cthulhu has definitely extended the lead at this point that <laughs> nobody is catching him. We have 20 seconds left. Yeah, Tea Party's on world two of uh, Cave Dude. Those, uh,. I don't know what they are. Logs with the mm -hmm. lips? Kind of remind me of Hatchimon. Like... Oh, and found a one-off, too. They kind of do, yeah. You know what, Jeff? Despite all of our efforts to bring joy to the players, the match is over. Oh. We have to say goodbye. goodbye. It looks like Essentia's just hopping into Cave Dude for a second to see what it's like. I can't okay, blame awesome. her, you know? And honestly, what a fun game. And we want to hear the audio. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 yeah, let me go ahead and pull up the audio real quick. Oh, this is kind of bad. Yeah, that's why I was so, so hoping that somebody would get there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is like Rockman X level. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, it's like pretty like terrible. Well, you Rock know what? Rockman X level. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty terrible. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mute my <laughs> er, Essentia because now she's listening to me. <laughs>
Man, that cave dude audio is something else. Oh my it's gosh, so congratulations, Tea Party Cthulhu, for the victory! Thank you, thank you. Uh, Twin Mouse, you know, actually, I didn't mind that game. I thought it was alright. Okay. Which, I, probably nobody else thought that, but I didn't hate it too much. Okay, that's good to know. Have, Honestly, have, it... have... oh, go ahead, Jeff. Have you had some experience? Have you had some experience with these uh, sort of platformers where it's kind of a grid system and sort of snap? That's exactly what I thought it was. I was trying to determine the whole time whether it was on a grid system or not. I could not tell. But no, uh, I don't have any experience with those. It is okay, because uh, I wondered if you know you you seem to have some familiarity with uh, Korean. Uh, Saturn. Korean Sega, <laughs> Sega Masters of Koreans. Yeah, right. I well, wondered if that was something that comes up. Uh, there is uh, one that we raced in Heavy Trip Attorney, but it was a shmup. We raced Dinosaur Dually. Oh, Dinosaur Dually! Yeah, that Ooh, was not fun. I know that one. I don't. That was not fun. <laughs> it was awful. It was so bad. Well! I mean... But yeah, Twin Mouse, not bad. Cave Dude? Cave Dude, pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, really? What? What's yeah. so bad about it? I don't know. Something just feels wrong with this game. <laughs> and, like, the platforming in, in Twin Mouse, like, I actually had to kind of think. In this game, I was holding right and mashing the attack button. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Not to mention, I, I think I think Twin Mouse had less stolen assets in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's... You know... I'm wondering, was this game sold? Well, it had to be sold. People didn't make sold. people didn't make games and put them on carts to just be given out like candy, you know. And Honestly, that, I could see these Australia. being being originally intended for arcades. I could see Twin Mouse being an arcade game. Yeah, but I could possibly system. see that. <laughs> this is Master <laughs> System. Everything from that time was. Yeah. I'm well, put some uh, yen. Wait, what, what's a? Oh, we 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 had this before. What's the currency in Korea? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yet. Monies. We, monies. I would have put some of them monies into the machine. The one. The one. Yeah. 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 Put, that would be worth it. Just slip all of those in the machine so that you can play some wonder. I was gonna say Wonder Rabbit, but no, that's an entirely different game. <laughs> Yeah, Twin Mouse wasn't bad also, and it wouldn't have been as bad for an arcade game because you can farm lives really hard in it. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. Also, what was with the, the guy mouse? Like, was there any point in playing as him, or was no. he just bad? He's just bad. Okay, he was just bad. Yep. <laughs> he was just bad. Although most people did not figure out the float. You did, but... Yeah, I did. It It's actually not that good because it's incredibly committal. Like, you just can't move if you stop with it. It's not that great. <laughs> I wish it was great. I mean, it works. Yeah, that's, it works. That's usually a good sign. But you can get trapped with it a lot. Yeah, I can see that. Well, congratulations again. Anything else you want to say before you take off? Um, I'm trying to think of a bad pun, but I can't think of one at the top well, of Well, thank goodness. Please. Okay, we'll just go ahead and kick you out of voice I before... Bet it <laughs> It would have been a cheesy pun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I get it. <laughs> Good one. Oh, I love it. <laughs> You're both great. No, seriously, uh, Tea Party Cthulhu, uh, thank you again. Congratulations on the victory. I'm excited thank to you, see you. what is coming up next for you. Let's see, that's second place and then first place this time, right? Yep. Awesome. All right. Doing well, better than I'm doing in all the other tournaments I'm in. Huzzah! You know, it's always good to see people stepping it up a little bit. So, good job, take care, and Jeff, thank you for choosing this game. Yes, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> always bring in the new fun. exciting games over from who knows where. <laughs> the hot Korean Sega Master System games that were only released in Australia. Oh, yeah. 